I have somebody new for you today. Very exciting. His name is John Holland. He's been around a very long time. I'm going to look at his Wikipedia page just briefly. And he is born into East Coast Catholic home. And he is an artist, an author, and a public speaker. He describes himself as being a psychic medium. He went to Arthur Finley College for Psychics and Mediums in England. He was the host of the History Channel show Psychic History. It ran for two episodes and was not picked up by the History Channel, sadly. He currently hosts Spirit Connections with John Holland, a web-based show on Hay House Radio. And he's a contributor to the metaphysical website Infinite Quest, and he's an author of several oracle cards decks the decks and <clears throat> somehow or other i acquired this audio that i'm going to play for you and it was december of 2023 i had just come back from new zealand and australia on my tour over there talking about grief vampires and wikipedia and i haven't listened to this audio yet so there's a lot of it multiple hours of it so i've chucked cut out 11 minutes now we're going to do something a little differently i'm going to tell you um what happens and then i'm going to let you listen to the audio and then we can come back and take talk about it afterwards this is one of those really great ones to listen to because it's all listening there's no visual it's great to listen to and have a pencil and pen or pencil and pen a pencil pen or with paper or take notes on your computer because there's a lot that's going on and you really want to catch it all because you know so he's going to go to somebody on the screen named peter so uh, john holland is talking for uh, at least 30 minutes about being kind to people it's christmas season things you could do to cheer people up and on and on um, lots of stuff he talks about and then he says he wants to go to somebody on the screen. He's drawn to a name and he's drawn to, I don't know if he can't see or he isn't seeing. He, he says he can't see the people uh, that he's reading for, but he must be able to see because he calls this person's first and last name. Uh, I can't, I don't know what's going on because I can't see. I'm, it's just audio is all I have. So I'll find something for you guys to look at during this 11 minutes, right? I, I don't know. I'll give you something to look at so that you're not just looking at me staring at the screen. Though I, I could do some interesting faces, I'm sure, to keep you entertained. But I, I don't think anybody wants to do that. So I'm going to play the audio. Um, he, he, like I said, he says he can't see these people. They can see him. So there's some things that happen that... I'm suspicious that he's getting cues from them the way he cuts his sentences off, like he starts to say something and then he cuts himself off to change course really quick, quickly. Um, it's Peter and his wife, his name is Cindy. And judging from, you can hear their voices to get an idea of what they're, what they look like in your mind's eye. How old do you think they are? What part of the world they're from? You know, of course, cold reading. You guys can hear it as well. So here's what he gets. And this is what Peter and Cindy are going to tell all their family. Whenever whenever they get off this call, they're going to say, oh, my gosh, um, kids, grandkids, you would not believe it. We had the most amazing reading. John Holland. Let me tell you what he got right. He said dad came through. You know, your parent, your grandparents and great grandparent, great grandpa. Uh, dad came through. Oh, and dad was just talking. He was so proud of everybody. Um, he's so proud of his grandkids and his great grandkids. Um, and then the in-laws were also going to come through and they talked a little bit about cancer and the in-laws talked about the granddaughter, you know, their um, Peter and Cindy's granddaughter. Um, they, they talked about her because, um, oh no, their daughter, I'm sorry, Peter and Cindy's daughter 
they talked about her and all the sons, but mainly about the granddaughter because granddad didn't get to see the baby very much. I mean, you know, he barely, he didn't get to know her really well. He's really sad that dad didn't get to see uh, the baby. And um, um, also dad says he wishes he had had a better relationship with, with Peter. He wished he'd said, I love you more. Um, he, oh, and dad knows that they have a really big home, that we have a really big home. Remember, I'm speaking as Peter. He knows that we have this really big home. He also knows that um, one of his sons, my brother, is an electrical engineer. And he knows about his grandson living on the East Coast. So, you know, the grandson. He wants to acknowledge my birthday, Peter's birthday, December 23rd. He also knew that Cindy's father was the last to go and that his great granddaughter specializes in, her, in an area of nursing. So our great grand, his great granddaughter, Cindy. Oh my gosh. Her mother not only came through, oh man, that was amazing. But her dear friend came by to say hello. And um, dad told John Holland that I'm not from Florida and that I'm from somewhere else and that I scuba dive. It was amazing. Okay, so pencil, pen, piece of paper. Might need a bit of paper. I have two pages of notes. We'll go over it briefly when we're all done. I'm dying to see what you guys um, think, hear what you think. Please give me a, a share and leave comments. Um, I love that kind of stuff. And um, hit the little subscribe button and the little alarm button. So I leave you to uh, Peter, Cindy, and John Holland. Okay, so I want to go to, um, I'm going to type in his name, Laura. I want to go to the gentleman. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's only one Peter in here. All right, if you want to read it, guys, raise your electronic hand. All right, and I may take a mini break in the middle. I mean, not to get up from the seat. Uh, Laura's going to close down the chat. All right, but raise your hand. I want to talk to Peter Stern, Laura. I think he's the one who asked. I mean, he said something. I think he had a suggestion in there. Okay. All right. Peter, you there? I am. Did you just write something, Peter, in the con in the when I said a tradition or something? I just wrote uh, that I've been toys for tops for 18 years. Okay, so I was drawn to you immediately, all right, sir? All right, so I don't know if you've ever seen me, Peter, or who told you about me, but um, I just want to just work with you. Are you ready? I am. Okay, sir, all right, that's fine. Yes, yes, I hear you. He's making me aware. When did you lose your dad, Peter? A long time ago. I got a dad that wants to come through, my friend, all right? And he's talking okay. about here either, and he's telling me yes. This is how it works, guys. I know you're looking at me. I can't see you. Voice is great because I'm not influenced by how someone's age is, what they look like, what they're surrounded. I, I feel as that as soon as he asked that question. Um, and I'm hearing, um, I don't know if this is for you or if this is uh, all of you. You know, he's telling me yes to say this. Uh, Peter, you're your dad yourself, yes? I'm sure, dad yourself. Yes, I am. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. All right, as I'm with you, um, he's talking about the boys. Now, either he's talking about you had more brothers and sisters, or he's talking about your boys, all right? Which is it? I, I would think he's talking, it could be both. I have brothers and I have boys. Okay, <laughs> but you ha are you one of four boys? I'm one of three boys. Okay, and how many boys do you have here? I have three boys. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I feel, all right, he's saying same name, same name. So um, I know your name is Peter, but I don't, some, I feel like uh, their grandfather, right, is your, I hear you. Now, I heard somebody else in the room with you. This would be your wife in the room? That's correct. Right. So he knew her also, correct? Yes. Yeah, because he said, send this love here, send the love here too, though. Is he the smoker, Peter? No. Okay, I got someone that's got, got a, uh, who's also coming through that would have had COPD or some type of lung, uh, um, lung cancer or emphysema. Do you understand that, please? I think that might be, um, yeah. Is this a, is this a female? It it could be, it could be my wife's father had. Okay, that's fine. I feel like they're coming through together. All right. I do feel that. 
because uh, my mom was on the nebulizer, the whole COP thing um, here. But is your dad's name passed on to one of your children, which is very common, Peter? And what is your wife's name? So I don't have to keep saying your wife. Cindy. Hey, Cindy. I, is, uh, is, is, his, is your dad's name passed to one of your boys? No. Okay. Is it one of you guys, is it one of his boys, or do you have your grandfather's name? No. All right, Peter. Um, where can I place? I feel like I have your dad, and his name wasn't passed on to your boys or to one of his own children. Correct, you're saying? Correct. Okay, that's fine. And if it's a no, everyone, it's it's no, All right? But as he's coming through here, like you said, he passed a while ago, right? But he's making me aware too. He's, you know, what he's saying to me, Peter. Aren't you surprised he's the one that's coming through? <laughs> Am I? Actually, actually, I've been hoping. Yes. <laughs> I'm hoping yeah. I've been hoping he'd be coming through. <laughs> I, I just feel like <laughs> I just feel like will he come through? Because I don't believe he believed in any of this. Do you understand? No, he said. <laughs> right. All right. I feel like he's a hard ass. Okay, make me aware. But it is him that wants to come through. He is acknowledging your wife. But you said you have three boys. Can't I talk about a daughter for you also, Peter? I do have a daughter as well. Absolutely. So you've got four children, or was it five? Four. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So he wants to he wants to make sure that he's not. I don't think your dad. Did your dad? Who's the youngest, please? Who's the youngest of what? Your children. Uh, my daughter. Yeah. Right. Okay. Did he not get to meet her? I don't think he did. He did. He did. He got me. Yeah. She was a baby. Yeah. I feel like he didn't. Out of your kids, I don't. I feel like well, when I talk about the daughter, he didn't get to know her as maybe as well as the others that didn't see her as That's much as the. Do you understand that? That's correct, yes. Okay, they're also making me aware here. You don't want a lot of people coming through. I'm going to go with this as, at as speed as I can and still be comprehensible. Your dad, too, though, Peter, was, did you and dad have a rough relationship, Peter, please? No. Yeah. Okay, I just feel like not a lot of, I should, when I hear I should have said more, right? It always means to me, some dads don't say the I love yous. I can, um, um, and, but he's making me aware, too, though. Um, yes, sweetheart, I hear you. And you lost your mom, Peter, yes? Yes. She's coming through also, my friend, all right? I don't know where you live, Peter, but he's saying, do you live like in a, is, are you 300, are you 3,000 square feet house or something, home? Close to it. Close to it, yeah. He's like, look at their house, John. He's so proud of you, all right? And I know that the different, we all raise kids. I don't have a kid, but I feel like you are raising, I hear you, sir, slow down. God, is he busy. Where, <laughs> where are you located? Florida. Okay, who's, in, who's on the West Coast? My son. Is that California, Arizona? Yeah. Where am yeah, I? Yeah, California. Because he's saying over here, right? And your dad's all around you, but he's making me aware they raise their kids not the way I raise them, which is obvious sometimes, all right? Sometimes we emulate. So there's something different about here. He's just proud of the two of you also, right? But I don't know. You've got four children, you and Cindy, right? Right. Who's like the CEO? Who's the doctor? Who's the, who's the lawyer? Who's got that job? My brother was a lawyer. Okay, is he living, Pete? Is he living? Yes, he is. Yeah. Okay, so I got a high person there, too, and not that a lawyer is better than somebody, a baker. It's just that he's just proud of all his grandkids, too, though. And he's also making, yeah, I will. God, your dad. No. Um, <laughs> I know you can see me on the camera, hopefully. This is your dad. My birthday is coming. Today is the 16th, right? Four days is my birthday, uh, Peter. Why is December significant besides Christmas? This has got to be somebody's birthday my birthday my birthday is December 23rd shut up you that's fine because he keeps <laughs> saying to me give him the birthday or give him the holiday give him the joy right and I never want to, but Peter he's correcting us this is your dad there's two events in Chris at in December so either I'm getting hit this wrong or there it's, it's a birthday and an anniversary or there's another birthday and he's making me aware your grandparents aren't you two yes Yes, because he's saying to me, look, now they know what it's like. This is a lot of joy coming through with your dad. And either you're a builder, Peter, or you designed the house, or somebody's in construction, all right, or someone knows how to build homes. Is this your dad? No. Who, who, who's, who built, did you build the house that you're in? Did you add on to it? No, I didn't. No. So where can I place that, Peter? Think beyond yourself, my friend. Is one of your brothers the construction person, or is somebody building right now? Well, my, my, brother, my brother was an electric. One of my brothers was an electrician. <laughs> Okay. Right, I'm seeing a drafting table, you know, like like electrical or mechanical engineering or something. Okay, right. so I don't know if they're building or if he's working on his. So this is just your dad's way of saying, I'm all around, I'm all around. And Cindy's mother is the last 
Cindy, your mom is past sweetheart, yes? Correct. All right. Is she the last to go? Um, did Peter's parents go first, and then your mom was the last one to go? Because you lost uh, your dad first? Uh, his parents went first. Right. And then your dad, Cindy? And then my mom, and then my dad. Okay, your mom wants to send a big extension here, too. And she's talking about you, Cindy, now, my love, too. Are you the nurse, sweetheart? Uh, no. Who, who worked in hospitals or worked in the nursing field? I have a... Um, I have a, a, a... One of my granddaughters is a nurse. Fabulous. That's fab. Your mom is your mom is reaching out to her, and it's not just they're not playing favorites. It's not, Cindy, that they're playing favorites. It's just that they're honoring... The, my brother's a nurse, too, so I'll, I'll always honor that. And thank you for the service. But with your uh, granddaughter, too, um, either she's... Cindy, your granddaughter, that's the nurse, right? Is she specialized? Is she a specialized nurse? Like, it's not just working the fluid. Is she in cancer? Is she in... What, what is she, what yeah, kind of nurse? Uh, is she? Yeah, uh, no, she, she was in, uh, oh my gosh, um, hospice, and now, she, and now she's in uh, obstetrics. Do you see what I mean? Some nurses just work the floors, they do the blood pressure, or they work in here. She, they're specialized. This is your mom's way of saying, you know, here. Now, you heard me say, too, obviously, too, um, when I was talking about an example of Sam, right, earlier, where can I place, um, they, they, Cindy, I think this might be for you. They are giving me the MAR name. I, I do not like to give John a Mary. I'm an Italian Catholic from New England. We all have one. Everybody does. <laughs> where, where's, where's Mary? Where's Margaret, Cindy? Mary. Mary was a friend of mine. Who's passed, right? Who has passed, yeah. Hi. Big, because I'm seeing MAR. That means Margaret, Mary. It's not like you're saying Bertha. Well, Barbara, Mary wants to extend the uh, love also to you, okay? Wow. And Peter, I want Peter and Cindy, I want you to think of that other birthday you're forgetting, okay? And Peter, I don't know where you were raised, but it's not Florida, correct? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> where are you from, my friend? New York. Okay. They're talking about here, I don't know who does fishing, or the fishing on the lakes, or the, the, uh, went out to, the, who did, I'm not a fishing person at all, Peter. Well, I'm a who, scuba diver, but not a, not a fisherman. Okay, there's something about... Uh, uh, wait a minute, Peter. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> you remember that, huh, John? <laughs> Guys, for the people that are listening, because <laughs> they're showing me a boat on the way. He's a clever man. I, if I saw him, I would have recognized him, guys. So this is a gentleman that, who was just on a cruise with me <laughs> uh, also. So, um, hello, my friend. Well, well oh, I mean, isn't it strange? I mean, I don't remember. I didn't. I just saw the name Peter. Didn't see the last name. Nor would I remember your last name. All right. But hey, guys. So just take that, guys. And thank you for starting it off. And uh, it was a pleasure once again meeting you and your people. Um, uh, on, but Cindy, notice he gets the freaking meeting again. Cindy I know. Dominic, I right? know. <laughs> he gets it again. Right. So take that love, guys, and keep watching, guys. All right, and see how this. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Right. So, God bless you. Thank you. All right. Anyone else? Okay. What did you think? Wasn't that interesting? Do you see how how accurate John was? Now I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> and I know what's going to happen is that Peter and Cindy are going to tell their family members those things I said at the beginning and how, how accurate John Holland was, how they couldn't believe how accurate it was. And the dad came through and, and said all these amazing things about the family. But you guys out there, you're a little skeptical, right? So if you've been following this channel for a while, you understand how wordplay works and how what the motivated sitter, that's Cindy and Peter, how they are um, trying to make these things fit. And they're willing to, you know, suspend some belief a little bit and suspend some, you know, so he's not quite exactly right, but he was close enough. He got he got most everything. And that's what I hear from every single person who's had a reading with somebody who does not have a copy of it or doesn't want to give it to me, but it was spot on because there's things they said that there's no way anybody else could have known. In the rare chance, I finally do get a copy of one of the readings. This is about what I find this. Okay. So um, now... <laughs> All right. 
think about the cold reading versus hot reading. That's that's where we go. So there is a lot of questions, and I'm not going to go through these too much in depth. I hope you're going to put them in in the comments in the show in the comments under this video. He asks a lot of questions. Um, did you lose your dad? Um, are, yes, I think I think that's probably the only correct answer that John Holland gets in this whole whole reading of eleven minutes. He's talking about his, his, the boys. This could be his sons or daughter. He says, this could be your sons or daughters or your sons. I found that really interesting that he, he snuck in the word daughter because he says he's talking about the boys. This could be his sons or daughters or your sons. And he snuck in that word daughters. And I don't think that he did that unintentionally. I think he snuck it in there because he knew that it was going to possibly, um, you know, he could claim that it was a hit if it happened there. Are you one of four boys? No, I'm one of three. Um, so how many boys do you have? I have three boys. He's saying same name, same name. Is that your wife I hear in the room? Yes. Um, he knew her, correct? Yes. Okay, there's another one. That's right. He wants to send her love also. Is he the smoker? No. Who was a smoker? He goes on. Is this a female? And he says, the motivated sitter, Peter, says, my wife's father had, and he didn't quite get very far on that before he's cut off. So again, that's a motivated sitter who's trying to not just answer the question that the medium is raising. He wants to give a lot more information to make the hit. John Holland said, who was a smoker? Was it your dad? No. Okay. Well, who was it? Was it a female? You know, is this a female? And he goes for a, a man and his wife's husband, uh, father. And then he's talking a lot about this passing on a name, passing on a name. So he went over that for a while and nobody had a name that was passed on by the father, which is odd. As John Holland says, he says, it's very common for us to have, um, you know, it's very common for people to name their children after somebody else in the family, you know, a father. And, but it, oddly enough, no one in this family was named after anybody. I thought that was very interesting. Or maybe it might've been a female, but no males. And, okay. He passed away a long time ago. He's saying that you are surprised he's the one coming through because he didn't believe any of this. Again, that was probably something very visual where they were probably looking at each other or laughing and we just couldn't see it. And this phrase right here, I listened to it like six times just to make sure I got this right. You have three boys. Can't I talk about a daughter for you also? Wait, can't I talk about a daughter? So listen to how that is phrased. You have three boys. We know that. Can't I talk about a daughter? So if Peter says, yes, I have a daughter, then it's a hit. If Peter says, no, I don't have a daughter, then it's also a hit because he's saying, can't I talk about a daughter? And I went through that multiple times and that is what he said. And that's an old trick of the psychics that are using wordplay and cold reading is that no matter how it's heard, because remember, this is Peter and Cindy and they're motivated to get a reading and, and for it to all go well and to be real. So they hear it the way they want to hear it. And later it'll come out as, oh, and he knew that I had, I had a daughter. No, he didn't say that. He said, can't I talk about a daughter? And Peter's like, yes, I have a daughter. And, he, and as soon as Peter says, yes, I have a daughter, the man says, absolutely. And this is another trick of, of mediums is that whenever they something is verified, whether they got it right or they got it wrong, they say, excellent, or absolutely, or yeah, that's exactly what he just was telling me. They confirm it. But really, when you listen to it, and this is why you need to get transcripts, make sure you get a recording, because when you go back and you listen to it, and you have to put it on a, uh, I wouldn't listen to it on something that didn't have an easy way of going back and forth very, you know, the last 
five seconds, four to five seconds, that kind of thing. I mean, if you're just trying to slide it with your thumb and you, you, you know, automatically you go 15 seconds one way or 30 seconds another way, that can be quite frustrating. He wants to know who the youngest is. Uh, and then Peter's like, of, of what? <laughs> My kids, his kids, you know what? And then he says, did he get to meet your daughter? Because he says, my daughter was the youngest. And she's, he's, her and C Peter and Cindy were kind of stumbling over that. Like, well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, she was a baby. And he says, he didn't get to know her well. And they're stumbling around that. Like, yeah, yeah, that's right. So to them, when they repeat this later, Peter and Cindy, they'll say, he knew that he didn't get to spend any time with his, his granddaughter. Well, no, they told him that he only saw her as a baby. So I guess he didn't get to know her really well. He was probably already ill at that point because they made it kind of sound like they weren't even sure if he had seen her or saw her much. And then, of course, John Holland says, that's right. <laughs> uh, you have a lot of people here and your dad, you and your dad had a rough relationship. No. And then he goes on to say he he backtracks a little bit to say, oh, well, there was a lot of things not said and that he wishes he had said, I love you more often. Do you live in a 3,000 square foot house? Okay, another motivated sitter. Um, again, we can't see what the house looks like because we're not visually. I mean, I don't know if it was, if you could see that there was this huge back room to wherever they're sitting or if it's very tightly enclosed like I am right now where you can't tell if my entire life exists right to here and here and the bookcase is here part of a bookcase and a wall right here i mean or can you see farther back i don't know we don't have the visual but he, he says um do you live in a something that's about a three thousand square foot house that's a very big house by um in america um at least in california because you know it's expensive so um i don't know is that a guess now, keep in mind that Peter, Peter, John Holland has been doing this for 30 years or something like that or more. And when you've done thousands of readings, which I'm sure he has, you you learn about um, human beings in a way that you know what's common. In fact, there's a book and I don't want to go get it and pull it off the shelf. It's called Passages. And this is a book of of uh, cold readers use. And it and it's an it's like a. I guess I would say like an almanac it's written years ago and in this book it talks about like how likely is it to uh what is what state has the most shoes sold and what you know it's where where would you eat oatmeal most or I don't know it has and it talks about the passages of people's lives how is the um what are the what are the common um ages things happen and and the typical lifespan of a human being in a certain demographic it's it's quite interesting and everybody who does mediumship who cares to do good mediumship and not just somebody who's put up a, a shingle on tiktok or something a lot of them use that kind of thing at least they did in the old days mark edward talks about it a lot in um the days when he was doing a lot of uh, mentalism well i mean he still does it but psychic readings. Anyway, so possibly John Holland knows a lot about sizes of houses and it wasn't a bad guess, but the motivated sitters, Cindy and Peter said, yeah, close to it. Well, I don't know. What is close to it? 2,000? 4,000? 2,800? I don't know. Um, he's so proud of you. Where are you located? Uh, he's in Florida. Who's on the West Coast? My son. Again, lots and lots of questions. And if I was to go through her and want to count these questions, oh my gosh, there are a lot of questions. So a psychic is supposed to know they shouldn't be giving questions and they shouldn't be stumbling around like, I'm not sure if I've got the right person. Could it be this person? Give us something specific. He doesn't even mention a name. At no point are their names mentioned. Except for one, Cindy's friend comes through. Um, and you can hear John talking off camera to dead people, apparently. Um, he'll say something like, all right, already. Okay, yes, I got it. You know, he'll say stuff like that. Like as if there's 
supposedly a dead person right there and he's speaking to them must be really odd living in his head um who's the ceo the doctor the lawyer and <laughs> i thought he was talking about one of the kids but uh, apparently he's talking about the brother and he says oh is he still living yes another question why wouldn't you not if you're if your brother he's living dad's right there you're talking to him he's standing right here floating or whatever he is he's very proud of him he's proud of the grandkids oh besides christmas why is december significant remember december has 31 days so your odds of getting a date correct in the month of december and any month that lands in a 31 day month and he says boom it was my birthday dad remembers my birthday well actually that's not what happened so he says uh what besides christmas why is december significant it's got to be a birthday and, and he starts to continue john holland is trying to sneak in the word anniversary he's in mid to say something else and peter boom cuts him off oh that's my birthday again is this visual? Can we, if we were to see this, would we have seen some interaction in there? I don't know. But uh, Peter goes on to say, my birthday is December 23rd. And then, oh, yes, and there must be another birthday or anniversary. Again, it's a visual thing. We don't know if they're sitting there looking at each other like confused, like, I don't know. Do you know of anything else happening in December? Because John Holland was done with that. Um going on are you a builder peter you designed the house or somebody did the construction no who is in construction was that your dad no did you add on to the house no uh think beyond yourself peter think beyond because i'm really reaching here somebody in this giant family of yours must be in construction aha the motivated sitter that that peter is he says Aha, you must be talking about my brother who's an electro electrical engineer. No, that is not in construction. Uh, the guy's probably, <laughs> no. Oh, I'm seeing a drafting table with drawings and electronics. I don't think anybody does that anymore nowadays. Anyway, but so then it was going on about, oh, Cindy, your mom, has she died or passed? Yes. He can see how old these people are and, and the odds are pretty high. Was she the last to go? And so then Peter and her, and Cindy had to think about that a little bit. Who went first? And and it was Peter's parents went first. And then she says, um, he says, well, your, your dad went first and then your mom. And she goes, no, my mom went first and then your daddy's like, oh yeah, that's right. Why does anybody care? Who cares? Why is this even important? Tell us something interesting. Tell us something important. This, the, oh, um, oh, and I, I don't like it when they call them love and sweetheart and stuff like that. When when these people pander to the women, oh, love, oh, sweetheart, can you tell me? Ooh, don't keep your keep those keep those things off your lips. My goodness, no, I don't think so. But you know, he's old school, I guess. It's okay because he's he he's been doing this a long time, which is just another way of saying that they have these tropes memorized and it just falls out of your mouth, and you're not really thinking about what you're saying. Like it's hard to unlearn these idiot it. I could say the word, but I can't right now. These phrases, <laughs> idioms. As soon as I hear somebody else say it, I'll go. I'll be able to repeat it right after you. So you guys can all shout it out at the screen right now. Who worked in a hospital? Because he thought it was Cindy and that she was in nursing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's a lot of people work in nursing. A lot of people work in hospitals. But mm -mm. he didn't get those odds. Ah, but my granddaughter, dad's great-grandchild works in a hospital, is a nurse. And so... Then John starts talking about, oh, my brother's also a nurse and, um, you know, how awesome that is. And and she must specialize. She's not just a nurse on call, right? Where I mean, she walks the 
the floor. She must specialize in something. I think, aren't they all kind of specializing? I guess you could be just a general nurse, but then you would be, I don't think that's as common as you think. They go in and they do the basics, but I wouldn't they still be assigned to a ward where you have some special specialities? I don't know. I don't have any granddaughters and I'm not in nursing, so I don't know. They finally come up with she was in hospice and then she went into, uh, what else was it? I can't read my writing here. Something else that starts with a gnome. This is the way you're, oh, and then a Mar name, M-A-R name. Who, who is, who's the R, M-A-R name that I guess he'd been talking about earlier because it applies here. And <laughs> is there a Mary or Margaret? <laughs> now, John Holland knows damn well. He knows better. He said, yeah, you know, <laughs> we all have a Mary or Margaret in our family, but who is your Mary or Margaret? <laughs> my goodness i mean he comes right out and says this like he said earlier he's about who is named who's same name same name same name it is common for our father for our us to name our our children after our family members that's very common so who is it in your family and mary is somebody that she knows can you believe it can you absolutely believe it that he got it right cindy knows somebody named mary and and he had to ask her if she died and she says yes she's died and he says she's come by to say hi hi cindy it's me mary I, nothing else i just just wanted to say hi it's me mary remember me your dear friend mary I, and Cindy says, wow. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't, yes, I can. That was just ridiculous. All right, I'm almost done. Were you, uh, uh, you weren't raised in Florida, were you? No. Where are you from? Well, <laughs> New York. Oh, well, now I'm getting fishing. And I, I, yeah, you're fishing all right, John Holland. You're doing a heck of a lot of fishing. And Peter's like, no, no, I don't, I don't know what fish is. I did scuba diving. And then John finally puts two and two together. And I don't know. He apparently just now looks at the screen or something and they all start laughing and everybody has a good laugh. They just got off a cruise together where he was giving readings to Cindy and Peter. Da -da. <laughs> and they all thought it was so funny. He was drawn to the name. The guy's last name is not common. It's Stern, Peter Stern, but he recognized it on the screen, apparently, because he said this is the first reading he does of two hours. And he's drawn to the name and it, and they're laughing and john just noticed peter was just on a cruise with him and they laugh and he says he gets the reading again ha 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 so what do you guys think hot reading cold reading I, I i can't see anything in there that was hot reading even though he just read this man I mean, he could legitimately, I'm sure he's read thousands and thousands of people in 2023. But there was so much that was so unspecific. There was so much cold reading in there that I really don't think he recognized the guy. Because if he had, there would have been specifics and he could have got, I mean, he's starting out this whole uh, gallery reading with people calling in and zooming in and it would have been great to start off with some real specifics and maybe he didn't have to say something about them being on a cruise together i don't know but this is pure cold reading absolutely standard open the book here's what cold reading looks like this is it and i don't think that a lot of these people who've been doing readings like this for a very long time know any better they just do it the way they always do it are they free associating in their brain oh doesn't matter 
it's cold reading and it's always worked for John Holland. So why should he, why should he change it up? Why should he do hot reading? I've, I've noticed that over the years, they don't usually do that. They usually start out one way and they usually keep the same uh, bit. You can watch them years and decades even later and it, and it has changed very little. A lot of the tropes they say are the same tropes they say all the time. And I've done that with looking at a lot of readings from people like Suzanne Northrup. You can find her on one of the playlists I have here. Some of her old readings from, oh, like the 90s, uh, 1990s. And now in 2022, 2023, she's saying the same thing. Some of the same quotes are coming right out of her mouth. The same stuff that's worked for years. They didn't envision this time of the internet where everything is saved and everything is findable and that people like myself would be evaluating their readings. So real curious what you guys think. Um, this is really hard for me to listen to because it just, it just, it was, it was nothing. And it took so long to get to nothing um, I, I think it is valuable listening to it. I have, like I said, I that was only 11 minutes and I probably have another an hour and a half. Whether I get to it or not, you guys let me know if you think this is interesting. Um, I know it's difficult to sit and not look at, have something really to be excited about looking at. But, um, you know, sorry. So leave me your comments. And I will be happy to um, move on to something else if you like, or if you if you really enjoy this, let me know. Thumbs up, I hope, people. Appreciate it. Bye now.